explain what you're doing today. So today we are hitting legs and before every warm up we work the mobility of whatever body part we're doing. So today we're gonna open the hips. So I just kind of sit here and then I rotate my legs this way, but I'll do it so I'm facing you guys. And then I kind of just lean forward until I feel this really nice stretch on the side of like my abductors. Cause I noticed a lot, especially in my squats, my abductors are pretty weak and my knees kind of tend to go in. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, then that's fine. So I've been on the same plan since I started prep and this has been a 21 week prep. We are six weeks out. So I've been on the same plan, but I have the memory of a walnut. So let's see what we're doing today. We are warming up with seated leg curls for fifth, three by 15. Squeeze at the bottom and no intensifiers, but reps in reserve are three, two, and then one. So it's gonna get harder as we go on. Then we go into some banded hip thrusts, leg press or squat press. I've been doing a lot of squat pressing recently because I feel like it's working my core a lot and I do not have naturally good ab genetics, so I feel like the squats have really been helping me brace my core and get those more defined. Um, and then we have leg extensions. We only get those once a week, so we are very excited. Our quads are diminishing as we speak. But then we finish off with kickbacks and abductors. Let's go. So I did not do that. These are nice and controlled and feel so good at the beginning of the workout because usually I do these towards the end. I hope you know after every set I'm going to have to pee. I'm not kidding. I don't know. Coach tells me to. <laughs> Is it going? <laughs> um, to start the hamstring curl, I don't think bringing my feet down, I think pushing my quads into the pad so that I'm just, if the harder I push into this pad, my feet will naturally come down. It makes more sense if I like do it this way. Whereas I'm not trying to bring my foot down, but if I push my knee into this, it naturally comes down and I feel it way more in my upper hamstring. I don't even know if that's a thing, but I feel it a lot right here when I do it that way. And I also lose circulation in my feet. So if that happens, you're doing it right. <laughs> I went up in weeks. I was like, So yesterday was literally one of the worst days on prep that I've ever experienced because this whole thing, like on my chart, I have to rate my energy uh, for my coach and like it's out of one through 10 and the whole prep, like all like 14 weeks, I've literally been on like six and up, six, seven, eight, nine. Yesterday was a solid negative five. I did my cardio, my, co my coach cut it in half for me because I told him I woke up and I felt like I got hit by a bus. And he was like, all right, half cardio. He gave me a little more carbs. And yesterday I literally did my cardio, came home, ate breakfast, sat on the couch, waited for meal two, ate meal two, went on a walk because I have to get 10K steps outside of my cardio. So I ate meal two, went on a walk, sat on my couch, waited for meal three. I did this all day long until my final meal and then went to bed. Like it was, I did not move. I did not think, I did not like speak. It was so bad, but today I'm feeling a lot better. I feel like that's just not supposed to be there.
All right, so that felt a lot different, especially with my feet placement. But I feel like the biggest tips for this, always push through your heels. You can probably see my toes coming up even a little bit. Um, because the second I start pushing through my toes, I start engaging too much of my quads. So for my quads not to take over, if I push through my heels, I'm getting majority hamstring and glutes. And I, I don't know if you can see, I was kind of sliding a little bit back, but the goal for putting your feet up is to be able to get a higher range of, or a larger range of motion at the top of the movement to really squeeze your glutes. That's gonna hit a lot of the upper glutes. So I liked it, but I'm gonna have to figure out a better back position. So I almost felt like I was sliding off the back. So we'll see. Um, usually I do these with a band around my knees, but I'm feeling good today, so I'd rather go heavier in weight rather than more tension with the band. So with the extra carbs, we're gonna put them to use. <laughs> Yeah, I like this though, even like some people were complaining about how this shortens the range of motion, but it almost makes it more of like a glute bridge. So I feel this a lot more directly in my upper glutes than I have before because with my longer legs, it's very easy for me to slip into a too deep range of motion on the way down. So this kind of prevents me from doing that and I get much better isolated contraction with my glutes. So. go like golfing on Wednesday because I haven't used my clubs my clubs have been in my trunk for literally since I moved down here and I was like how do I golf more in Pennsylvania than I do in Florida <laughs> but well so my ex taught me to golf we went to like ranges and like played a lot of games and then when we broke up I realized I actually like really enjoyed going to like ranges and stuff driving ranges so like I'll put like airpods in like go on my rest days and kind of just hit balls but I don't know, since I've been down here, I've just been so busy. Every time I say I'm gonna go, like I was gonna go yesterday, but I was fucking dead. So like. I've never had a proper off season. And this prep like is giving me such a different mindset. Like going into this, like, I'm still six weeks out and yet I'm already like thinking like I'm gonna have such a successful off season because I look at nutrition and like the way it affects my body and my training so differently now. Like I feel like I've learned so much about myself that like after my show, I'm gonna become a fucking unit. <laughs> so. Okay, now I either move on to a wide stance squat press or a leg press. I feel like I'm gonna let Gavin decide this one. Am I doing a leg press or a squat? It's like basically like one of the machines or like a Smith machine, like just wide stance. That one? Fuck Gavin, bro. No, literally. I was gonna take that one, but it's gonna fly. Hamstring is so tight. as 
as I thought. But definitely popping blood vessels in my forehead. Fun fact about me is I ate my twin in the womb because I'm always getting that protein. <laughs> I feel like this top makes me look like Santa Claus. Like you're just getting leaner, you must feel so confident. And I'm like, well, <laughs> and I'm like, most days I'm in here in like a sweatshirt or a big t-shirt because I'm like, I don't want anybody to look at me knowing that I'm in prep and having their opinion of what I should look like or if I'm ready enough. They're like, I don't want people looking at me and being like going, that girl's six weeks out. Like, she doesn't look six weeks out. She doesn't look ready for that. So like, I'm very self-conscious about that sometimes. And yet some days I wake up and I'm like, I feel good. Like, I feel like I look six weeks out. So it's very mentally challenging to go through this process. So I would recommend don't ever enter a prep if you're mentally weak or mentally like you're not com your confidence isn't there yet. Because you have to be 100% sure in yourself, sure of yourself, if you're gonna go through this and make it out on the better side of it. So words of wisdom. instead of a leg press because um, the squat I can really feel my core working a lot more and I don't have the best ab genetics and I don't work abs directly a lot. I only have three sets at the end of my workouts. So kind of to like compensate and kind of build that core a little bit more, I find that compounds like squats help me a lot more. Even though I do like leg presses and I switch them, I like switch them in sometimes because I feel them a lot in my glutes, and my hamstrings. However, today we're feeling good. The energy's high, the carbs are a little higher. So we're gonna utilize that in our squats today. And when I set up, I do a low bar squat because of my long femurs, my height genetics, like it just feels more comfortable for me. And I set my feet a little in front of the bar, creates a bigger stretch on the glutes and the hamstrings. So on my way up, I feel them a lot more and I can track them a lot better um, versus having my feet directly under the bar. So I hope that helps. <laughs> It smells like they're making waffles back there. Did you smell it? This is all of the cheat meals that I'm gonna have right after my show. And I plan out not only the place, like most people pick out like a few places in the area for their show. I have the meals selected from the menu, like in order of how I'm gonna eat them. So the reason I do them on this machine, one, because um, if I do them with dumbbells, my grip strength is really not the best. So I won't be able to load it as heavy as I can on this. And when I do barbell, again, it's my grip strength, but also I tend to not be as stable, so then I won't feel it in my glutes as much and I, my lower back tends to take over. But with these, I can send my butt back and kind of almost like I'm sitting in a chair without actually falling back because I have something to hold on to that's not gonna move. So by that stabilizing me, I can send my glutes all the way back and almost come up on my heels so I'm getting the full stretch and I don't have to focus too much on where my balance is so I can come right back up. So it's not as good for my core, but it's still keeping the weight off of my lower back and keeping the tension in my glutes. So that's why I personally prefer this machine, especially with the handles facing this way. My grip strength is a lot better here versus overhand handles because these I can grip and hold onto as I'm sitting back. So that's why I prefer this a lot better. 
and I feel a lot more and the pump is exquisite. Okay, something I saw Gavin do when he was doing these RDLs is that he was exploding up on the concentric <coughs> movement. So this is the eccentric and this is the concentric movement and on the way up he was going too fast even though he was controlling the down movement. However, if you really wanna feel these in your glutes and get the mind-muscle connection, you have to control each movement on the way down and on the way up. You don't just wanna explode on one and control the other. You want to keep a controlled movement the entire time. It hurts. These I like on an angled cable because it puts it in the direction of the 45 degree that I want my foot to go in versus like a straight cable. I have to position my body rather than just having the cable already set up and it makes it where I feel it more in my standing leg on a straight cable versus this I feel more in the working leg. So. I like that a lot more, so when it's not busy or somebody's not using this, I like to steal it for my kickbacks. This for glute, glute kickbacks is don't bend all the way over like you're trying to show somebody your coochie. Like for your glute medius, you don't need to be at a 90 degree angle to get it to engage, especially if you're the kind of person who feels it in the foot that's placed on the ground. If you're feeling it there, odds are you're putting too much weight into that foot and not enough into your glute medius. So what I mean by that is if you're putting all of your body weight into this leg, you're gonna see it in your hip. Your hip's gonna come down a little bit. Versus if you stand up taller and pull from this side of your glute, instead of me going here and just using momentum, if I stand up and I step back a little bit from the cable, feel the full stretch of my glute medius and use it to kick straight back, see how none, like no other body part of mine has to move to get this to contract. Hey guys. 
So right now we are going to be doing an upper glute biased abduction to finish off our leg day. So I rarely ever feel my upper glutes and this is the only time that I really feel it isolated. So what we do, we get a fat ass band and you put it around the machine first and then you climb into it yourself. And you're gonna put it on your like upper back, mid back, and then slowly ease yourself into the seat because it's gonna be tough. So you're gonna have to use your core. And then I just place my hands right here. Make sure this is nice and tight. So that you're all, there we go. Locked in, press slightly with your knees going outwards into the machine. Push your glutes back into the seat and almost tuck your pelvis in like you're doing hyperextensions. And then once you're all set, slowly bring your back to the um, seat and slowly and then again, slowly bring it back, contracting only with your upper glute. I don't want you using your lower back. You'll be able to feel the difference if you start using your lower back versus if you're using your upper glute. After 10 of these, we're gonna go into abductions where we hold our back to the pot, to the seat, and then we're going to bend forward a little bit. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So still pressing with my knees into the pads, keeping the tension in my glutes. I'm gonna hold here, grab this to keep myself in the seat, and then abduct. Again, only using my glutes, I'm not using momentum. And I'm squeezing out the top, holding my back to the seat. Because this is a glute finisher, this is not supposed to be something that we're ego lifting on. I don't want you doing 150 pounds for your abductions. Unless that's lightweight for you, then do that. But keep it moderate weight. You want it to be challenging, but you don't want to be going for a PR on this kind of um, set. So finishers, usually you just go high rep, high volume. Make sure your glutes are absolutely demolished before you finish up your leg day. So that is the goal of this, is to use every fiber in your glutes and keep it controlled. So don't go crazy on this exercise. <laughs> it looks like if you're doing this wrong is if one, you're just letting yourself fly forward and you see the curvature in my lower back and then you're just pulling it back. I'm using all this momentum, all my back muscles, and that's not the goal of this exercise. So if you're doing it wrong, you're just gonna be looking like this instead of tucking your pelvis, keeping your core tight, and pulling with your glutes. Or if your knees are not pressed in here, you're not keeping your glutes engaged and you're just kind of going through the motions. That's not what we want. So keep your knees pressed, keep your core tucked, keep your glutes squeezed, nice and slow so that you know you're using the right muscles. So that's the biggest thing. If you're not feeling it in the right spot, you're not working it in the right spot. So make sure you always have that mind-muscle connection or else you're wasting your time. That cuts off my head. Me and this camera have beef too. Me and these mics have fucking beef. Like I'm over it. Anyway, I recorded a whole Young LA haul unboxing. I literally opened my package on here yesterday. Went to go edit my YouTube video in the morning and there is no volume coming out of my mouth in the video. So let's try this again. Right now, I'm wearing the shorts. These are the Young LA Men's Drop. It's dropping April 25th. Get ready. So these are the shorts. They remind me a little of like the Anaka ones, but they're way softer and in my opinion, better material. I'm not biased, I swear. Let me show you a little. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going on. So let's get you the mess down there. Young LA. Boom. They're long, ladies, if you're thinking about getting them. 
it's a lot, but they are comfy as hell. Like I would wear these on like a rest day kind of vibe. I wouldn't really wear them to the gym, but they're very, very soft. I wore these to bed last night actually. So definitely recommend, they're size small. Guys, you really don't have to size up or anything in these. They're great. So love that. I wore this reversible tee to the gym today. Very cute, but I wore it on the plain side. So we have this side, which is just like the splatter paint kind of vibe. And then we have this side, which actually doesn't even have any kind of logo on it. It's just very clean, very plain, which is kind of my vibe in the gym. So especially when it comes to pump covers. So it just has a little Young LA thingy on the bottom part of it. So these are really comfy, long. The sleeves are a little long, so I probably would go like stay true to size. You don't need to size up in this. So in hindsight, I probably would have got a medium, even though this is a large. It was very cute, very oversized. I got these white shorts and then I also got them in blue. So I thought that blue was pretty color. And then the best thing dropping is this here bag. So it's a duffel bag and a backpack all in one. So here we got, you want a duffel bag? You got a duffel bag, you know? You want a long, you want a longer strap duffel bag? It comes with a longer strap so you can attach it and it's not, you're not holding it by the handles. So you have like a longer strap to wear it around your shoulder. Or you wanna zip all this extra shit up. It's a backpack with comfy straps. It has like the mesh on the side and the amount of compartments in this thing is ridiculous. There's zips, like side zip. I could probably fit three pairs of shoes. Like it's ridiculous. You got so much space. So the quality is amazing. You got Young LA all over the place. Overall, 10 out of 10 bag. You got so many pockets, so many mesh things, zippers, compartments. Love it. So this is the April 25th drop, obviously more colors and stuff. If you guys want to support me, I greatly appreciate that so much. You can use code done to save and let me know if you guys use my code so that I can thank you. Shoot me a DM so I can send you a big heart emoji and thank you guys over and over again for how much you guys support me. It does not go unnoticed, especially with how much I love interacting with you guys. I, I appreciate it. I love y'all, hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, comment, tell me anything in the comments, um, and then send it to your friends so that they can do the same. So, love you guys. I will see you next video.